All right, I love this type of problem because I think when I was graphing linear equations, um, once we get to vertical and horizontal lines, students, one, have trouble understanding horizontal and vertical lines, and then also it's very easy to forget a lot of times. So I'm actually going to graph both of these separately, just so I can remind you, you know, how to graph them. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll put them on the same coordinate axis. Now, a lot of times for all linear equations, we can rewrite them in our slope and intercept form, which this equation we can write in slope intercept form. However, x equals negative 3 is not a linear, um, a linear function. We can't write it in this slope intercept form. However, we can still graph it, and it is still going to create a line. So a lot of times when I tell people when they're trying to graph these lines is I always you know, go back to creating a table. And you can just do a crazy x, y table. And we don't have to be, you only need two points, but I'll do three just so we can see the pattern that's going on. And what this says is x equals negative 3. x always equals negative 3. So there's no other values I can put in for x, for x except for negative 3. And then for y, remember, y is going to be our arbitrary value. We can choose the values we want for y, which would be negative 1, 0, and positive 1. But it doesn't matter what values I choose for y, x is always going to be negative 3. And that's the same case for over here. Now, a lot of times when we're picking a table, you know, we choose our values for x. We say, you know, usually get some negatives and positives. Always choose 0. But again, you notice that y always equals 5. Always. So it doesn't matter what values I pick for x, y is always going to equal 5. Um, so now let's just graph these two lines on the same coordinate axis and, or coordinate plane and then see where they intersect. And where they intersect is going to be our solution. So if I know that x equals negative 3, x always equals negative 3, I'm going to go over to negative 3 and I'm going to draw a nice vertical line. All right, Because it doesn't matter where the y coordinate is, x always equals negative 3. Then I go over here and I say y always equals 5. So I go up to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I create a nice horizontal line. Remember, when y equals value, you're always going to have a horizontal line. When x equals a value, you're always going to have a vertical line. Now you can see that these intersect at exactly one point, And that is going to be our solution of these two equations. So now we need to determine this point. Well, we know the x value is negative 3. The y value is 5. So since we have a solution, we have a consistent uh, linear a solution, linear system. And also, it is going to be independent, since there is only one solution. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your graphing a linear system with vertical and horizontal lines. Thanks. <laughs>